I'm Dr. Nancy Davidson. I'm the director of the University of Pittsburgh Cancer Institute and the president of the American Association for Cancer Research. We continue to make amazing progress against cancer. You know, it's impossible to separate the role of being a researcher and being a clinician because good science is what leads to good clinical care. Over the course of my career, we've seen cancer mortality drop about 1% per year each year, each and every year in the United States. And that's because of the advances that we're making from great science, which leads to great care. There is no question that we are extremely excited about how our understanding of targeted therapies is going to contribute. In the last several years, we've seen major progress with regard to the use of immunotherapy. So it's my hope in the next couple of years that we'll have a much better understanding of these areas and how we can bring them to bear against the many diseases that we call cancer. I think that over the next year or two, we'll see a continuing refinement of the way that we're able to use more precision medicine, precision medicine to select targeted therapies, precision medicine to think about how to apply immunotherapy. So these areas, I think, will have impact over the next several years. Over the long term, I really hope that we're going to see increasing impact of early detection, of prevention strategies, and that we'll be able to come to the point where we can think about the concept of personalized screening, personalized prevention. We cannot underestimate the importance of continuing to support research for cancer. Everything we know today about how to take care of individuals with cancer is based on the research that's been done in the past both the basic science research and the clinical research. It is impressive to see the number of new therapies that have come available to patients over the last decade. And I think this is a direct result of the research that we've been able to support over the last several decades. New systemic therapies, new targeted therapies, new immunotherapies, new ways of doing surgery, new ways of delivering radiotherapy. All of these are vital in our ability to try to decrease the burden of cancer. Progress in the future is going to require that same commitment to the research agenda, and we cannot let up on our momentum. So it is absolutely critical that we bring to bear our most important resource, which is young investigators with brilliant new ideas. The AACR is absolutely committed to bringing to the fore the next generation of cancer researchers, those who are basic scientists, translational scientists, clinical scientists, population scientists, implementation scientists, the full spectrum of research expertise that we'll need to make the next big leaps against cancer. We're all very grateful to President Obama and Vice President Biden for putting cancer and cancer research on the map in the way that they have with the moonshot. This is an amazing time scientifically for us. The momentum couldn't be greater. And we're delighted that they've been able to galvanize attention about this important issue, which is a scourge on our society. It's my hope that the momentum that they've helped to raise is going to continue to be in the public eye, that we'll continue to have public and governmental support for the importance of cancer research. And of course, we all hope that ultimately this will translate into the crucial resources that are going to be required in order to make a difference against cancer.